Okay, so let's get started with doing some things with shapes. You're bound to want to add some shapes when you're creating a motion graphic or motion animation. And first of all, let's go to our shape tool down here. And we'll start with a circle there. So here's our circle. If I don't hold down the shift key, we're going to get an ellipse. If I hold the shift key, we're going to get a perfect circle. And if we go to our rectangle tool, the same sort of thing happens there. If I don't hold the shift key down, we get a rectangle. Press the shift key and we get a perfect square. And now we can see about putting in a line. So here is a line. And if I start at the top here, come down. Okay, we're going at any angle there and we get a nice little line. Or what I can do is if I start at the top and come down and hold down the shift key, I get a perfectly vertical line. And the same sort of thing happens going horizontal too. And we can even change the size of the line by changing it there. You use this heads up display when you're putting the lines in first of all. So now if I do a line, it's going to have a nice thickness to it there. So. So we've got too many lines in there. Let's get rid of a couple of those. Let's go back to our select tool and we'll delete that one. And we'll delete this one too. Okay, so we've got a couple of lines in there. Now we can use our guidelines to align things in here. I like these alignment tools. We can align that so it aligns perfectly with the top of that there. We've got a square and we've got a circle but we don't have a, a triangle what about if we wanted a triangle let's put another square in first of all let's take a rectangle let's take that there we've got our rectangle in there go back to this tool here and i'm going to double click on that there and what i can do is i can get this control point here and delete it so now we've got a triangle how good is that then so so we've got three shapes up there and a couple of lines and now what we're going to do is we're going to put some colors in there very easy to do that just click on our color selector there Click on that there, we can put a blue in there. Tell you what we're going to do as well, we're going to move this to the start of our animation. In fact, what we'll do as well is we'll make our animation shorter. So I think um, 165 frames will be enough on that there. So let's animate something. Okay, so we're at the start. This is the inspector. If we go to the shape tab, then what we can do is we can change the color. So let's start off with it being the blue. Let's add a keyframe. Click on this record, go to the end, or near the end anyway. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to change the colour to something else. Let's change it to yellow. And let's turn that off now. Let's go back to the start. And you can see there as I'm scrubbing through, it's going to change the colour from blue through to yellow. How cool is that then? What else might we want to do with this here? Might uh, want to start at the beginning here. And we might want to add some behaviours. So we've got to go to the library again. And we'll add a grow and shrink. We can see up here what's going to happen there. It gives us a bit of a clue. Let's take our grow and shrink and drop it onto our circle. Let's go to the inspector. And here's our behaviors, grow and shrink one there. So uh, we're going to tell it to scale. The moment it's scaling to 0%, so it's not going to do anything. So let's have it scale to 67%. And we'll click on natural scale or have continuous rate. And let's see, we've got to change the scale rate again because I've just changed the increments there. Up, it goes up to 86. End offset, we can change on that there. So now let's play our movie and see what happens. So there you go, the circle scales up. And back to the start again and it scales up again. So. It's scaling up and it's changing colour at the same time, so that's quite good, isn't it? So let's stop our animation for the moment and bring our playhead back to the start again. Let's take our rectangle. Let's go to the library and we'll put a spin onto that there. So let's drag that behaviour, put it onto our rectangle. And we can say how much spin we want using this thing here. So. Let's spin it around that much and press play. So we've got a rectangle spinning. We've got a circle which is growing in size. Lovely. Perfect. We can also do some 3D same so changing to this as well, this rectangle. So let's uh, change that there and move that around a bit. And as you can see now, we've got the rectangle 
and it's spinning in one direction and it's also spinning in 3D space as well. So that's a couple of things that we can do with our animations of shapes and it's pretty easy getting shapes in there. I suppose we should, before we just uh, finish with shapes, just show you quickly something else that we can do. We can uh, decide that if we want to put a brush stroke in there. There's a shape. It's come in there with a ant thing added to it. Let's just play that and see what happens. So we've got the brush stroke and the ants. <laughs> Quite good really having some ants in our picture, isn't it? Lovely. And that must have come from one of the styles that has been applied to our brush stroke. We'll have a bit more of a look at what we can do with brush strokes in another video. So that's just a bit of a starting point to have a look at shapes and looking at the brush strokes. So keep an eye out for the next video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch. Thank you.